Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create dynamic pages on Wix.com. So here we are in Wix.com and if you don't know what dynamic page is, then dynamic page on Wix.com is a type of web page that can display different content to visitors based on certain conditions or variables. These pages are created using the Wix editor and can be set up to change the content dynamically such as showing personalized information, data from a database, or content based on user interactions. Dynamic pages allow for more interactive and customized experiences for website visitors compared to static pages with fixed content. So now what we'll be doing is we're gonna go and design a website and click on get started right here so that Wix would create a site for us and we'll be using this as an example since this uh, account is a new account for this tutorial and we're just gonna be skipping this one right here and we're gonna be going for maybe I want this one right here click on next and then right here preparing your home page design maybe I want to go for this right here click on next and let's wait for it to load right here and I want to go for this one and now it's now preparing our home page design right here so it says adding your pages so now here we are in our website in editor mode and first things first what you need to add dynamic pages is the CMS or content manager selection so to add that you simply need to click on this button right here on add elements button click on it and then from here you can see the CMS right here and if you have if you don't have this option right here then what you need to do is click on the cms right here and you want to click on add to site just like this one right here click on cms and add to site and you would have this right here so what you need is we're going to be adding a preset right here so we're going to go click on add a preset and then from here we can see a lot of presets right here and let's say we would want to go for uh, team members right here so this is a a dynamic page right here as you can see in the team members uh, photo right here you can see when you click on the buttons right there you can see that there is a button and then it would take you to a link or something like that and that is a dynamic page right there and as you can see it's not creating pages since we have selected this preset right here so we'll just be right here as you can see we it would automatically open up the CMS collection for this preset right here and as you can see we now have this uh, table right here so from here we can edit the info we can edit the website link right here so when you click on open link this is what it would show us right here and this is what it would show right here as you can see it is uh, going back to this right here because we haven't uh, modified this as you can see it's just wix.com right there so I suggest that you go and uh, edit the link for the buttons that you have in your dynamic pages and from here we can uh, go for a gallery view if that is what you'd like right here on the CMS or you could go for a list you can go for a table and so on right here and I would like to go for table so that I can see everything and then from here you can click on add item in case you want to add a new item for example right here we are adding our team members so if you want to add a team member then you can just go for maybe a Kai Kai Jones and then something like that and then you want to add a photo and then job title and so on right here and by the way if you want to add another column just like this one right here job title short description and so on then you can just scroll this bar right here to the side and you will be able to see the add field option right here if you cannot see it right here then you can just go and do it right here click on add a field and then you would be able to have these options you would have the text rich text rich content and so on and yeah you can explore each of these options we're not going through one by one so yeah you can just go and for text you can even go for rich text and choose field type right here and you want to go and choose the field name for your rich text right here or field type 
and let's say my full name would be uh, other uh, biography maybe just like that biography and so on and help text optional so help text appears in the collection only it will be show up anywhere on your live set so this is only for you it's like a note like for example there is something that is crucial that you need to remember when viewing this field then you can just type it right here and also for the validations right here so you can make this a required field in that case that this field should have something should have an information about this person you cannot skip this if you turn this on right here and you have a default value so as you can see, rich text do not support default values. Default values are supported for uh, following types of text for image, boolean, and so on right here. So we're just going to click on save right here. And as you can see right here, as you can see right here, we have a notice sign right here. It says this field cannot be empty because we have turned on the, uh, just go ahead and edit, the validations. We have turned this on right here. That is why we're having this notice. And we need to fill up this information right here. So in the meantime, we'll just be going to be turning this off and click on save. And then we're going to add a new one. And we're going to go for text this time so that we can modify the default value. And we're just going to be in the default and we're going to go for uh, default value. And as you can see right here in the validation, by the way, you have a lot more options right now. And you have the limit character count. And this would be uh, about uh, limiting the number of characters in this field for any newly added items. So you have a minimum of maybe uh 40 characters or 40 letters 40 numbers or, or something like that and the max would be 100 just like that and then they wouldn't be able to uh, type in a maximum of 500 or longer than 100 characters right there in your field and a minimum of 40 characters and you have accept specific values only so when a new item is added this field can only contain one of the predefined values so if you have some specific values that you need for your field and you would want to enable this so that you can go and do it but as you can see you can set up specific value when you have a character count limit so you can only uh, enable one of them right here you can enable them both and add options for this field and so on enter to add a comma after each value right here so for example red uh, maybe you would need it to be uh, size 9 and so on right there and then you can just go and do it size 9 right there so yeah you just need to press the comma right there and click on save right there when you're done with the validations but again we're gonna go for the default value this time and here in the default value you have this this is the text that will automatically appear for each uh, new new item added right here so for the default value you can just go and click on learn more about default values so that it would be more clear to you right here so as you can see default value is in stock so you can also use this for stocks right here so that you can uh, uh, put there once you put it in stock then the customers would know that it is in stock and so on so yeah you can use this as your default value so you can even use this as a pre-order just like that so that they would know that this is in pre-order and you can click on save right there and now as you can see we now have it right here and it is uh, requiring us again because as you can see it, we have turned on the validation and we have this drop down menu right here because we have added some uh, right here we have added some specific values only which means we cannot type anything right here but to choose from one of the options because we wouldn't be able to put anything right there as you can see right here because of the setting that we have just enabled right here which is to accept only specific values and now that we are clear on this one right here and by the way you can also add a new view right here so view number two right there and then as you can see right here you can go for gallery in this time and from here you now have two different views right here so you can do that 
and you have your more actions and you can go and import items or you can export this to CSV so that you can import them later into another website maybe or whatever you'd like and then you have your collection settings right here and you can go and control item visibility high table layout right there if you don't want to and permissions and privacy right here and anyone can view this content and so yeah this is basically just information i mean some permissions right here so you can just modify this according to your needs or wants and then we're gonna close close this and then from here what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and exit right here so that we can save it and as you can see here is the dynamic page right here that we have just created using our preset and this is the one that we have just added right here and when you click on read more the there is a link right here we can link the read more right here so when that when the customers would be clicking on read more when they are interested about this person they would be able to be taken to our website so for example right here we would be uh linking it right here so which page you can go and link it to the maybe in the uh, let's go in book online maybe on book online and when they click on the read more when the customers click on read more they would be taking to your book online page so yeah that is one of the ways that you can link and you can go for none top or bottom of the page and so on emails right here what's the email address what is the subjects line so on so yeah you can feel free to explore on this one depending on your wants or needs and then the next one is you can change the text of course you can edit everything right here you can even change the background manage some items and so on so now what we'll be doing is that we're gonna be creating our own uh, dynamic page just like this one right here so to do that we need to go here add elements right here go into cms and then we're gonna create a collection of our own so this is basically a new one and then from here we'll basically be starting from scratch and what are your collections name of your collection so samples right here and we're gonna click on create right here multiple items because we will we will be adding multiple items and from here we have it right here so as you can see there is no presets right here we would be able to add our own fields add a field text right here so we'll just be making a simple one right here so we now have a title text and another text right here uh, maybe for this one I will be going for URL right here. Choose field type and then for the validations right here, I want to make this a required field and for the default value right there. And I want to go and make this I actually I want I don't want to set any default value. And then from here you can see we can edit the text. So for example, we are adding some contacts. Let's say these are contacts right here. So we'll be adding some names. So Mary Terry and we will be going for maybe we could go edit this this is its his position right here which is video editor and then we're gonna go for this one uh, we're gonna be naming this as portfolio so this is a url type of field so which means we will be pasting a link right here to his portfolio so let's just go to google and let's just go and go for portfolio and we're just gonna be basically copying a link right here just a random link just so that we would have an example and we'll be pasting this right here paste hello right there as you can see we can now open the link right there and yeah just like that and actually we're gonna add a new item right here maybe this one will be jerry and actually this is wrong sorry for that we this should be position position and click and save and then for this one will be video editor and this one would be senior video editor and then the portfolio right here as you can see since this one is a required page right here there is an audio sign and then we're going to be adding a new one right here copy link address right there and then we're going to be pasting it right here and now we have successfully created a simple a dynamic page right here and we're just gonna be uh, saving this click on right here let's go and exit so now that we have successfully saved our collection the next thing is to transform it into a dynamic page so it wasn't a dynamic page just yet it's just a collection so to do that you need to click here on this item right here on this icon 
And from here, you want to click on dynamic pages and click on add dynamic page in the add button right there. And then from here, you want to choose a collection right here that we have just created right here. So we, we want to create a dynamic page from our samples collection. And then from here, we want to choose a style right here. We're going to be going for this one right here. So for example, we'll be going for that one. Click on add to site. And now it's going to be creating the pages. And all we have to do now is view it right here and as you can see we now have it right here in our item list we have our uh, dynamic page right here as you can see this is the collection that we have just uh, that we have just created and we can just modify this right here change the text or add a text to uh, positions right here and now we have just like that, we can just also add a photo right here of Jerry and Terry right here and so on. But I have just shown you on how you can do this. So this is just a rough idea and you can just do it better on your own right here. So that is how you can create a dynamic page. And now if you want to test out your dynamic page, all you have to do is click on publish right here. And once it's published, you can click on view site. And then from here, you can see the, uh, uh, the dynamic page that we have created right here at the top and you can see the samples which is the dynamic page that we have created and you can click on it and then from here you can see the dynamic page and yeah this is basically how you do it and you can just do it better you can add some photos more description and more designs and so on but yeah that is essentially it on how you can do it thank you for watching